Talking Luther College women's cross country with Coach Cheryl Paschi and Coach, uh, this past weekend you went up to St. Mary's for your first event of the year. I know you're not really uh, concerned about uh, team scores in this event. Did you get accomplished what you wanted to up in Winona this weekend? Yeah, it was a great weekend. We um, Beautiful weather. We had a lot of parents there, some alums back. Um, we, we ran in packs as, our, as is our design for that meet. Um, people felt really good finished feeling great, which is what you want, um, and excited for the next challenge, I think. So yeah, it was a great weekend. And when you've uh, been at it uh, formally practice-wise for a couple weeks, I'd imagine uh, your kids uh, came in ready as they usually do, uh, putting in a lot of miles this summer. Yep. Um, I think this was the first year in a while. I mean, everybody showed up just really fit, which is what you want, right? People to be <laughs> Um, put in their work over the summer and, and start the season fit, but I think across the board we had a higher level of fitness than we've ever had before, which is really exciting. Um, obviously, you want your top performers feeling good, having put in a lot of, a lot of work over the summer, um, but I think that's true for the entire roster, which um, motivates everybody on the team and is a healthy thing and a really good thing and allows us to do a lot more as a team because of that. So, um, yeah, people showed up ready to roll and it's fun. And this weekend, uh, one of the bigger uh, cross-country weekends uh, here in Decorah, the All-American coming up. Uh, just a big uh, day for the program overall. Yep. A as for the race itself, how do you approach this weekend? Yep. Um, I think as we get deeper into our, our racing, and we've only had one meet so far, um, we just upped the ante just a little bit um, going into the All-American. So um, it was pretty low-key at St. Mary's, which is a great way to just start out the mm -hmm. season and not put a lot of energy into our race performance or expectation there. I think when we go into the All-American, um, people are a little bit more prepared to race. Um, so up in the ante a little bit more is a good thing. And I think there'll be some great competition. So um, that'll be a, a fun thing down here on Saturday. And it's just uh, the family of Luther College Cross Country uh, really gets to enjoy a day like uh, Saturday. Yep. Yeah, we have. Um, we start the morning with middle school races and then high school boys and girls, big meets there. Um, and then we cap it off with the col college races. Um, and then afterwards, we have a big picnic for all of our family and team and alumni that are back. We, I think we'll have a very good showing on the men's, both men's and women's alumni side. So um, that'll be great to have them racing and then um, hanging out enjoying Luther afterwards. And uh, an event like that, uh, sometimes the alumni provides that pretty good competition. <laughs> yeah, <don't> there's <laughs> a lot of people out there um, that are in really good shape and racing well. So. Um, I think they, a lot of them, while this is just maybe the second race in our season and we're just kind of getting our racing wheels under us, a lot of uh, alumni are really gunning for this race. So they put on a good show and it's good competition. All right, it should be a great day on uh, Saturday. Uh, and as you take your next uh, step in the season long process, uh, we wish best of luck at the All American. Great, thanks a lot, Darren. Darrell Pashi talking with their college women's cross country.